Hello, fifth graders. In lesson one and two, rectangular arrays, you are going to be able to draw arrays to model multiplication. And I have a couple of arrays here on the screen for you to look at. Um, you're all familiar with the calendar and then the buttons on the phone. These are both examples of an array. So let's take a look at what an array is. There are arrays all around you. Look around our classroom and see what you can find. Let's look at the characteristics of an array. The first characteristic is that each row has the same number of objects. Each column also has the same number of objects. And each array has a rectangular shape. So here's the definition of a rectangular array. It's an arrangement of objects into rows and columns. For example, in this example, 20 pencils can be arranged into four rows of five pencils each. So you can see we have our four rows of five in each row. Two, three, four, five. So that's an example of an array. Now, on page five of your math journal, you're going to be asked to take 10 counters and figure out how many different arrays you can make. So we're going to make a couple together. The first array we're going to make is one row with 10 in that row. So really we're just putting these counters in a nice straight line. Okay, so one row with 10 in the row. Another way that you could do this is you could make two rows with five in each row. Two rows. And five in each, one, two, three, four, five. And these guys down here. And so now I have an array. It has the same number of rows. It's two rows with um, five in each row, the same number in each row. So if you go to page five in your math journal, we're going to take a look. It says a multiplication number model can be written to describe a rectangular array. The first factor is the number of rows in the array. The second factor is the number of columns. The product is the total number of objects. So if we take a look at number 1a, we already did this. We took our 10 counters and we made as many different rectangular arrays as we could. Now actually there's a couple of other arrays you can make, so you'll have a chance to do that on your own. But the two that I made for you or with you are here on the page. We're going to draw the array, arrays, making dots on the grid. So I've done that for you. And now we're going to write our number model. So remember the number model, the first number is the number of rows. So in this array, I have two rows. One, two. I have five in each row. So my second number, my number model, and your number model is really just a multiplication problem, is going to be 5. So if I were to make this into a multiplication problem, I would do 2 times 5 equals 10. Look at that big zero there. All right, my other one, if I were going to write my number model, I have one row, I have 10 in each row, and so now I'll put my multiplication symbol. My multiplication number model is 1 times 10 equals 10. So you'll continue to do this with the other arrays that you make for 10. And that's the end of our lesson. Good luck!